difficult to stay in the center there. We were in the distribution room there. And it was a distribution room between the staircase, the main chapel, and the dining room where we are now. At the beginning, there were only these two rooms, the chapel and here. So it was uh, <coughs> inaugurated at the end of the first century AD, yeah, as a familiar tomb. And it's just only after one or two centuries that it was transformed into a collective tomb with many locally, with many places for the dead people. But at the beginning, it was the tomb, the catacomb, pagan catacomb of a very rich family of Alexandria. And of course, as you know, you will see the portraits and the two statues of the owner and his wife. What is the, it's very interesting in these tombs that it's a, it was uh, not built, but it was carved in the rock, in the natural bedrock of Alexandria. You can see, oh, it was uh, dune, hmm? the sand dune. You can see the different layers here. Hmm? And it's a, a very soft stone, sandstone, uh, which is very easy uh, to, uh, to be worked. Uh, and also to, <laughs> to, to be damaged, of course. Huh? Uh, when you uh, go out from the catacomb, you have some sand in your yes. hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what is interesting is that when you build something, you can demolish it and rebuild it. Mm -hmm. When you carve the rock like this, you, you cannot go back. What is done is done. So I think it's a very, very nice entrepreneur and architect who made this work here because there is no mistakes. You can see this uh, elegant uh, bedroom, uh, sorry, no. dining room. <laughs> <laughs> bedroom, yes, it could be right because here uh, there were so three beds here, three beds here, three beds here <laughs> for the dining. Uh, you know the dinner of the Greeks and Romans after where uh, the people uh, were on, in beds. Hmm? Yes. And here you have uh, some uh, special hydraulic uh, <coughs> um, cement yeah, to display uh, the, 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 the drinks and uh, the, all they had during these dinners. Hmm? If you see the photograph of the uh, discovering of this dining room, you will find that there was, in fact, many amphoras, uh, big, huge vases of about one meter high to drink wine, and also the dish, still with some uh, meat and some fish. You know, the Greeks made a funeral uh, meal the day of the death, uh, 40 days after, and each anniversary, so it means one year, each year, one time each year. And at the end of the life of this catacomb, there were more than 150 locally here. So if you imagine that there was one meal per year, plus the new people uh, recently dead and so, you can imagine that there were meals here, funeral dinners, every day and several heavy days. So it's, uh, we discovered during our excavation in the necropolis in Abari, other dining rooms. Us usually in the rich tombs, there was systematically one dining room, like in the house of the living people, to make these funeral dinners, banquets. And <clears throat> Uh, we know this, that this, uh, uh, from uh, Abari, for instance, that they use a lot of uh, fish. And it's very strange because this is, was not discovered until now in Greece. But in Alexandria, they, they used to eat a lot of fish. And we shall see in the Karakala Hall, hall there, uh, <coughs> where they burnt the, uh, the, uh, the offerings. And it was usually uh, small uh, pigeons and fish and pork and so on. But it was always grilled. And if we compare with the uh, excavations we made on Dryland, where we found some houses of Greek and Roman time, there 
it's not grilled. It's huge beef, but boiled, and so on. Uh, so there is difference between the eating in funeral banquets and in the houses of uh, the living people in Alexandria. This uh, uh, dining room is very huge, very elegant, as you see. Uh, it's only for one family at the beginning. And they made these, quad, uh, these pillars here, and they made a, a ceiling which is uh, higher than the room itself, uh, not to have any impression of oppression. Mm? You see, it's a very elegant way of giving <coughs> the idea that it's in open air. And what is strange for us, as I uh, say to you, for us it's uh, more difficult to carve the, the, the rocks and to build, but in fact, as you can see in the distribution room, but here even, they painted some lines in red color. You see here? You see here? Huh? I don't know why they wanted to imitate the building. Hmm? To imitate a building and to, to, to make the people think that it was built. Uh, it's a kind of elegance, of fashion, but we don't know the, the, the meaning of that. But they wanted to uh, imitate so the building of the living people. But in fact, we are in the rock. Very strange. Did it have any, uh, any plaster before? Or no plaster. As you see, you see the red lines. Okay, I am. <laughs> I am Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Uh, I think about the red lines. Uh, yes. Maybe because in the... Uh, they imitate slabs. Huh? Slabs. No, I'm talking about... Yes, those and the other red lines as well. Yes. In the, uh, the Pharaonic, when we see the red, it, it, um, it seems that they are not yet finished. They are um, the planning to do something that yeah. is not yet. Yeah, yeah right. Sometimes it means the same. Yes, yeah. Sometimes it means the same. Uh, for instance, in the necropolis, we have uh, found uh, some walls with painted lines for locally, to guide the people uh, for making the locally. So maybe this is unfinished, no. probably. No, they want to yeah, do it's finished. The decoration, I, I mean decoration, <laughs> some more decoration or something. Okay, I shall show you something in the, in the circular wheel there. Yes. You will see they imitated like stones. Okay. okay, some rows of stones. <coughs> so it means it's in red, in red too. No, it's a kind of fashion. Imitation of imitation of being built. Of, of, of being built exactly. And um, and this was was a kind of the uh, uh, decoration. Yes, exactly. So it's a kind of decoration. Huh? So it's imitation of slabs. Yeah, ah. you see. And yeah, you will see. Exactly. 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 You will have a look in the wheel there. Okay. 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 If I heard you correctly, uh, you said like we found pictures of amphoras. Yes. Uh, one, one, one meter high and plates with remnants of uh, fish and yes. meat as well. Yes. Where these pictures were, were found? So the picture was taken in 1892 by uh, Giuseppe Botti in, in his team, and after there was a, a German uh, mission here uh, to excavate the... Uh, so these photographs are kept in the collections of the greco roman Museum. They are, you, perhaps you know, there are more than 8,000 such uh, uh, glass photographs uh, of this size, uh, which are in the collections in the archives of the greco roman Museum. So no, it, uh, it's computerized by um, the Bibliotheque Alexandrina, and I hope that it will be soon on a uh, website. But I republish this photograph in my booklet on uh, Comet Sugar yes. Flag Attack. You will publish that? Yes. Already yes, yes, yes. You, you know, there is a booklet I, I wrote on, the, on Comet Sugar Flag. Sorry, Ross, sorry. Can I ask, please? Yes. Uh, um, we know that the Christians used to hide in the catacombs. What, what we hear that the Christians used to hide from Christians. the Christians. So the Christians, it's very clear, according to our excavations in the necropolis, that the Christians could reuse some catacombs. But they <coughs> uh, 
took all the skeletons, all the friends of the pagans, and they put them in other catacombs. And they wanted the catacombs to be only for Christians, Christians not to be with pagans. And they, <coughs> they painted uh, crosses uh, on the walls. My, my question is that uh, is it, uh, we found here the amphora full of fish. Yes. So, and the fish is single for No, fish. no, no. no. So Even the pagans ate fish. No. no. <laughs> Sorry for the silly question. No, 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 no. It's not only. Uh, uh, fish is not only for the Christians. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Another question? Could you call it a space? Can we call the catacombs? Uh, sorry? Are there, are there Can we call it? Yes. We didn't find here crosses. No, 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 no. The tombs, the two catacombs here and the uh, Caracalla Hall are pagan. Totally. Yes, but it's pagan again. We shall see that. Okay? No more questions? Uh, the last one, and we shall go to Caracalla. Okay. I want to know only the similarity between these catacombs in Egypt and those uh, in Italy or in Paris. Oh, I yes. saw some uh, pictures on some oh, in I... website, but uh, I want to know uh, they, uh, they are similar to the others in other countries? or uh, Yes, you're right. Yeah. These catacombs in the Alexandria, uh, you can see uh, uh, all the catacombs very close to them in Cyprus, for instance. Cyprus. In Paphos, in Cyprus, in they are very similar. Yeah. Uh, it's a, you know, uh, I think there there is some, uh, of course, Pharaonic influence, but also a Greek one, yeah. uh, because we have, uh, you are right, catacombs like this in Greece, okay. right? Uh, so catacomb means in Greek to uh, go down. Yeah. Kata no, in Greek. First in Greece. Catacombe, it means uh, to go down. So underground. So it doesn't mean that it's Christian or pagan. Huh? You can have a Christian catacombs and pagan catacombs. Hmm.